Good morning, everyone. Today we will be discussing the stages of team building. And the title for our project today will be Creative and Effective Team Building by Naomi Pittman, uh, Hermione Zakala, Taylor Spade, Ian Davidson, and Darren Owens. And as you can see on this side, we have a couple of pictures. The first picture is um, a picture of five girls working together, brainstorming. And at the bottom, we have the team breaking. And over here is some more pictures what appears to show a group of people showing some good teamwork. And this is where we want you to be. So before we start, we have a quote for you guys to get you guys started in thinking. All right. So coming together is a beginning. Keeping together is progress. And working together is success. And basically this quote is ideal of a project. You know, we, have, we have a beginning where we get our team together. We go through our stages in the process and ultimately we're gonna find success. Importance of teamwork. It is important that each member of the team work together so that the assignment or project works effectively and the quality of the project is good. If each person in the team works together and does their part, then the, um, there should be success with the project. So, remember that an essential uh, part of team building is to understand the four stages of uh, growth and then be able to successfully and efficiently apply them in a team environment. So here's an analysis. Um, the difference between a group and a team is as large as the difference between lightning and a lightning bug. Um, if you think about it, when you might read it, you might think they're the same thing. But really thinking about it, they're completely unrelated objects. Um, to go more deep into this, I want to talk to you guys about the difference between a group and a team. Um, a group is independent individuals completing tasks to get things done and are often not working towards the same goal. While a team is interdependent individuals working together to try to accomplish a task. And the task success depends on them working together and being able to rely on each other. So now we're going to talk about each stage independently. Stages of teamwork. Forming is an initial orientation period of teamwork. At this point, team members are unfamiliar with each other, and so they're unsure of what to do because they're uncomfortable. This stage is complete when the team members feel like they're not a group anymore, but they're a team, and they become comfortable. For example, when we first started, we didn't work together as much, so we were unfamiliar with each other. Um, then we got comfortable, and we saw ourselves as a team. Storming. In this process, um, members begin to find their place. They are more comfortable with the challenges and challenging the opinions of others, and at some point there's intergroup conflict. For example, in our group, we weren't, as Taylor said, we weren't used to working, working to, with each other in the group. So some of us didn't get along, but in, through the process, we finally started to work together. Normie. In the normal phase, we use the past experiences and past problems to help us solve problems within the group and come together as a collectively and um, get the work done. Um, as an example, in our group, we all use our strengths and weaknesses um, to help better the group and get the project done. And in the result, it was um, in procedures for conflict, decision, and methods. And the final step for forming, the team has worked out a sense of harmony. The team has worked out all relationships. And the team has started producing results. So basically, what this is saying is the team has become more familiar with each other and they're uh, making uh, more results. So an example of this would be like our whole project. It's like we have become familiar with each other and we've made this project together. Individual attributes of effective teamwork. So now that we've gone over all the four stages and you guys know and understand them, here are some skills to better these stages so that they can flow more smoothly. First is interpersonal skills. Having these skills means being able to solve problems, being able to deal with people, being able to work together to get something done, being able to deal with things, and this, this skill is essential in this. The next one is commitment to team success and goals. And with this, a lot of people you might say that they have it, but they really don't because what they do is they work at their own task instead of working collectively as a group. Working at your own task and getting your own stuff done is really not commitment to the team's success and goals. But what is commitment to the team's success and goals is when you work at your task and you help other people around and collectively you guys work together to get something done. And the last trait, this is one of the most important ones, is interdependence. Interdependence is when you depend on somebody while at the same time that somebody depends on you. And in this I mean that you have to be trustworthy enough so that they can depend on you. 
and they have to be trustworthy enough so you're able to depend on them to be able to successfully get things done. And now to... And over here, as you see, is uh, some pictures showing some good teamwork. So to recap everything we just discussed, forming is the initial period and it's complete when the members feel comfortable and they're familiar with each other and they feel like they're a team. Storming is when the members actually find their place in that team. Norming results in procedures such as conflict, decisions, and methods. And performing is when the team actually comes on one accord, they're in harmony, and they're on their way to success. And as a closing statement, remember that team means together everyone achieves more. And for our closing, um, we're going to show the websites that we got um, our project from. And first we have team building. It was a PDF and we used this to um, get the ideas of our four stages. Then we have Peak Field s and um, It shows the 12 steps for team building and how to build a successful team. And on the NDT, the third source that we used, we got um, the idea of the difference between a group and a team. On that last um, team building, we got um, an overall um, summarized um, group, uh, group stages, so we were able to get it through. That's how we were able to get um, those summarized ones. And we hope this presentation has given you a better understanding of how teamwork works and how you should use it in life. Hope you can effectively um, use it, and thank you. Thank you. Thank you.